we will see. We have Illusion on the blue side, and we have Vodafone Giants on the orange. Game one on your screen. Get Itachi was thinking about that first goal early and stake leaves off on the play. And for Giants, I think the, the biggest question mark coming in here is not only just what version of Giants do we get? Do we get the, the last regional where they barely win a series? They didn't win at one at all. But there needs to be some tone setting early. They need to establish a rhythm as a team and work through those problems. So far, it's not going to work. And the first goal will go for Illusion in a very awkward defensive collapse. Yeah, you see Zamway trying to get out and Tadpole just there to pick things right back up. Illusion starting things off here with the first goal in the first 30 seconds of game one. The response better be quick on the other side because things can very much snowball out of control. But if anyone can kind of regain bearings for a team and, and reestablish rhythm, as Stake tries to put one that careens around the net, it is people like Stake, Atachi, Thamway. We know what Itachi can do. There was a time where we were calling him one of the best players in Europe. He can still live up to that title as Stake tries to carry over and Thamway thinks again about the interaction. And Stake will meet it back in midfield, but not a lot of boost to be able to get this ball away. Put back towards the net from Tadpole and the shadow screen does nothing. So again, we sit on the opposite side of the field, but Dazrin just kind of looking at Giants' recent performance and and more importantly, kind of their, their lack of placing. Have you noticed anything glaring about their play style that's drastically changed since they were competing for titles? It does seem like they're not as aggressive as, you know, they once were. Meanwhile, though, hold on. Itachi has to play here. There's the flick, but good read on Tadpole. Maybe a chance here for Samway if he can't get behind it. Itachi will come through and see if he can find a follow-up goal, but alas, defense there in time. The offense does look good from them. I think it's when they get back on defense where things really start to shake up as Itachi makes a goal line save. Rise now applying your pressure through the corner and Stake not able to meet the challenge. Parka keeps it up, but Giants read that clear about as easily as you're going to need to. Now, looking to maintain possession. So far, it's just been kind of little quick side dumps out to the corner that get shot downfield. The pressure mounts into the corner we go and what a demo to clear off the backboard that leaves way to rise who gets the call up and it's a 2-0 lead look at this from tadpole play it out the demo is what really makes this play so big because rise gets a moment where he can score that one doesn't waste any time an illusion coming out with a statement here in the first game we've seen giants off the kickoff too follow-up kickoffs take the ball up early and they get maybe a shot or two towards the net but after that it's just about playing defense park a look for that second demo which would have given illusion a third goal here but so far in game one you've had early leads in terms of possession time for giants everything else has just been illusions hand currently masquerading around the field as as a discombobulated offense but when illusions step up off the backboard they're so good at picking apart the defense and the difference you can see in polish currently as they're up 3-0 look at this tap hole free touch off the back wall no one there to challenge that at all everyone on giants sitting in net pass out parker gets a goal this is an illusion team that wants to really put their name on the map here rise especially but for Giants, I mean, it has to be just on the defensive end, This, is, which is very strange to me because this is a team that knows how to play past any type of defense. So you would think that they would know, okay, let's not mm. give a team a free backboard. Absolutely. I mean, there was, a, there was a period of time where Giants were able to go the distance against teams like BDS, teams like Vitality. Like, they were very easily taking the ball away and reestablishing rhythm. They were meeting the challenge on offense. They were matching the pacing, the speed on the field. And their defense is one of their highest points so far. It just has looked, you know, like the power and the, and the speed has been zapped from this roster. They are very, very slow on the pitch. Individually, Itachi trying to do all he can to move that ball into the blue half. But even Parko with just a kind of a cheeky challenge just stalls out the offense. Giants looking to mount, but Zamwe will grab the midfield boost. Doesn't win the 50. Now we begin to ball chase a little bit to the corner as Itachi looks for the center out. And these challenges from Illusion continue to kill the Giants' offense. Oh, straight down to Stake. No, that's a big whiff. Stake had a good look at the net. If he makes contact, 
There's a big percent chance it goes in. He may get another chance. No, Tapple knocks it away. Illusion, they're going to get in the way with a couple of things here on offense. But that being said, they're still sitting with a three-goal lead. Giants. I mean, watching this, you can see why they've been struggling. Just not on the same page. Yeah, sometimes you just fall into slumps as a roster. It, it happens to many teams. That one's a free net, and he still misses. Can't get the gimme goal as Giants have had multiple chances in this game to wake themselves up. And oh! what a dunk on the opposite oh! end. That is disrespectful from Illusion. Look at Raz. He's up with 11 boosts, gets the flip reset, and sets it up perfectly for the duck. I said flip reset. He just drove off the ceiling. But I mean, still, it's so nice. Illusion are out here. And my goodness. It really feels like someone just zapped the power out of the Giants. Multiple chances in this game. And again, game ones are, are very chaotic and it doesn't really affect most series in terms of pacing. It just kind of shows you where everyone's mindset is in the game. But gonna need a complete 180 going into game two. This illusion will take the first part of this series very convincingly in a 4-0 fashion, which, you know, to Giants credit, they were able to, to control the ball at the kickoff every time. But after that, Dazarin, we didn't really see them move together as a team through the blue half. A lot of it was individual. A lot of it was fighting against the challenge that Illusion poised or, or posed. But after that, I mean, it was just all of Illusion with the goals and the challenges. Yeah, looking back at some of the goals scored, you can really just see the breakdown of Vodafone Giants on defense. So many chances came through, but the confidence as well, though, from Team Illusion going into this. I mean, we saw fakes and the flicks. We saw Rise with the ceiling shot. Uh, everybody, you know, putting putting things on here and getting involved for, for Illusion. Vodafone Giants shut out in game one. Mm. This is a top four team in Europe and unable to get anything going on offense. Yeah, this is probably going to go down as if this kind of trend continues, it might go down as one of the greatest slumps ever. It's it has been quite a drop off in productivity uh, for this roster who, you know, Giants had they've had two rosters essentially over three splits and both have worked out really well. But all of a sudden, it just seems like something has changed and we'll see if they're able to turn it around. That's a great shot to get things going. And finally, stakes will get Giants on the board. And this is where you need to make those adjustments going into game two. Stake does so. It's just a quick kickoff goal. So if anything, defense kind of not expecting that from Team Illusion. 1-0. Vodafone Giants up. We'll see how they play off the kickoff again because for the majority of this series, which is just one game, they have been winning the kickoffs. And once more, they put the ball into the blue half where Rise now has to make a heroic play to move it out and buy his defense some time to advance upfield. Parka going to punch it to the ceiling, but no one was there for the extension. So Stake easily clears it back out to the back wall and Tadpole does the same on a pass to Rise, who turns the wrong way and just dives into the ground. Tadpole trying to come off the sidewall and Itachi reading the defense quite well now, baiting out defenders as Stake comes in for the cleanup, but it'll give it right back to Tadpole. But so far, at least the presence on the field, Dazarin, seems to be much more confident as Giants are moving much quicker downfield. Yeah, the presence is important. Maybe even another chance for a goal. You saw that one get close and does get knocked away. Team Illusion in a little slow here in the opener, but it's it's the first minute. Stake trying to get another goal, but the whiff does come through. And now we get to see Team Illusion playing from behind and what that looks like as Giants trying to build off of their early success. Looking for those infield passes so far. They've been successful. Stake was avoiding the bump, but will still have a presence in this other corner. Looking for the pinch out. Itachi a little bit high on the shot. Here comes Thomway. He's not able to connect. And now you look at Illusion and how they're able to kill on defense. Can they get the ball away? As Giants have been relentless so far for the first minute and a half. And going into game two, a complete 180 in the play style. And they're looking for their second goal. Oh, there's Stake again. You said they were looking and they found it. Good touch here off the back wall. You see Rise try to pop it up for a clear, but Stake has the read before Parker can get a piece of that one. 
A very slow 41 miles per hour on the clock, but it's good enough for a 2-0 lead. And it means that Giants now have a bit of a cushion where you can start to get a little bit more creative on offense and breathe a little moving down the field. You don't have to worry about playing off the back foot. Tad ball for connection. And Parker was in the right space, but Giants read it appropriately. Rise again, going to look for Parker on the opposite side. Thomway taking it out. 1v3 down the field. Pass for Itachi. Shot for Itachi. Good for Itachi. And it's as easy as that for Giants. Now Giants are starting to get the ball rolling. They've definitely woken up here after that game one stunner. And now they are turning the tables here on Team Illusion. Three back-to-back -back goals. We're not even halfway through this game, too. And what Giants did so well against teams, low kickoff goal, that works too, 4-0. So game one meant literally nothing. What Giants did so well against teams like Top Blokes and, and, and BDS was they t was they not only responded in the lower third and then in the offensive third, more importantly, with quick shots and keeping the ball towards the net to, to chip out the defense, but they were just taking the ball away. They were keeping BDS off the ball. They were keeping Top Blokes off the ball, keeping Archie off the ball. They're doing the same thing here so far in game two. And again, you can see the success it's having. They are just running away with it, and we still have two minutes to go. Oh, that's an old goal. Hmm. Rocket League. What happened here? Oh, wow. Oh, my. That can't Rush. be the end of it. Oh, yeah. oh. Huh? And then... Oh, there we go. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So, own goal for um, Zomway, and it's now 4-1. But at least Giants are still scoring. That's the one takeaway you can get from that. Hey, you find a net. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, you know, seeing Zamway, he was a little jealous. They had two goals, decided to get one of his own. At least Rise, you know, has a really nice shooting percentage right now. As he may take his first shot. Nope. Gets cut out. Itachi. Oh, that's a good shot. Rise has to reach for that save. That's the Itachi we were looking for in game one. The Itachi thing many fans were expecting for these last two regionals. That kind of quick decision-making ability just to pull up from midfield and just put a shot towards the net, extending all the way down. Stake in a chase to the corner. The Parka will not get the touch. Thamway will. And now a bit of a, a cluster into the side. Traffic begins to build up, but that ball continues to move downfield. Advancing up for Tadpole, who reads it off the top and takes out every single defender on the way down. There you go, Tadpole getting involved here. Maybe this could turn into something from Team Illusion. It's a whiff on the back wind, and Tadpole just slots it home. Oh, if you lose this and you're Giants, may God help you. Up four goals with about a minute 50 to go. We'll, we'll give him five. The own goal is funny enough. Tadpole going to circle back through the box. Now you have Park on the opposite end, but the connection gets cut off as Thamway again. We'll get there and read the pass. Stake up to the ceiling. Pass down. We've seen him do that multiple times. Thamway reads it on the other end. And, you know, Illusion just have not been able to clear the ball away. They have struggled oh! on defense. And that one's not going to get punched in. No one else comes up for the challenge. And a questionable decision on the counterattack as it was a 1v3 for 15 seconds. Not sure why no one else followed up. Yeah, that one. I mean, it seemed like everybody was moving forward. And when the ball got knocked to the side, everyone had to adjust. They need to have somebody set there to take advantage of that in case it went the other way. That's the job of whoever was last back. But 48 seconds has to be this drive. Otherwise, looks like we're going to have... Oh, Tapo almost finding the shot. Itachi will take it over. And I don't know if there's enough time here for Team Illusion to get back into this game. Looks like we may be seeing a tied up series here. 30 seconds left on the clock in game two. Still feels threatening even though it's 4-2. Parka opposite end. Two commit again for Giants. So this ball's still up. They're running out of boost to be able to get this away. And that should be the call. If you're Illusion, just press numbers. Unfortunately, Rise was a little too far pushed up and has to circle back. 13 seconds to go, down two goals. Giants just need to hold on for 10. And they should be able to do it. Itachi off the ceiling. Flip reset, triple tap, almost gets the goal. Zomwe will clear it out and secure game two. And a 5-2 win for Giants is good enough. You know, this has definitely got to be frustrating for Team Illusion, especially for Rise. He sees Itachi just all over the ball in front of him. He's like waiting for him to finish doing whatever he's doing. 
then decides, okay, let me just get a clear out. Game's almost over, and you get that scored on you. Now they got to go into game three, where they were not very successful on offense in the previous. Not looking good for them, but good for Giants. The Giants tie up the series. You know, after those first three, four goals, it was a much closer game than we'll even take away the own goal, but there were multiple chances for Illusion to be able to at least get this to 4-2, 4-3. And it's kind of a similar conversation that we had with Giants in game one, where you just left the door open. Illusion kind of did the same thing, but Giants played controlling Rocket League. They played Giants level Rocket League, the same thing that had kept them in the top of the conversation in Europe, that had kept them challenging for championships so far. We just haven't really seen that for the past two regionals, but a, a good 180 in game two. Do you think it's going to be enough for them, Dazrin? It, it looks like there is a chance for it to be i think seeing team illusion in terms of what they are able to come up with on offense when the, we were in game number one there mm -hmm. was a a strong sense of just pressure that vodafone giants didn't know how to deal with now giants kind of respond back with their own pressure and i sure. think for now looking in terms of game number three it's got to be how these two teams adapt when it comes to the head-to-head -head. this is a big decisive game Will the Giants take the series lead or will Illusion? That is the only question on our minds as Tadpole will win the kickoff and Illusion who have struggled to move out the defensive third and really find good counterattacks down the field in game two so far are doing a good job, you know, controlling the possession off the kickoff. But for Giants, again, it comes through possession. It comes through finding one another and being confident in your shots. A stake will put it off the backboard. Whoa. Looking for Thonway and bar down. First goal for Giants. Oh, this is this is such a good play. The speed here. He's been lurking, waiting in the midfield. As soon as Stake goes up and makes contact, he knows I got the shot. Bar down and in as Giants open up game three. Passing starting to open up as well. So they'll find the first goal and the lead. And they are starting to knock on series lead door. That's something that's going to get made up and never used again. Oh, way to the backboard. Double tap. 2-0 for Giants. Right off the kickoff. Once again, he ends up getting the side boost. Has a perfect reach to the ball. Tap pole. He's jumping up, but he's not touching anything. Double for Zombwe. Two goal lead for Giants off of his arose. He's two for two. Both coming off with some incredible shots. And the fact that game one was so sloppy from Giants, I was getting ready to roast them. But the fact that they've turned it around so quickly and now they look confident on the field. Many Giants fans are breathing a sigh of relief at this moment, but still a lot of time in this game. Four minutes to go. We kick it to the corner. Thomway looking for the touch, but Itachi has to circle back. We'll grab the corner boost. The resources are here for Giants, but a slow and a touch to rise oh, almost gets the upper 90. Kept up open net, and that'll be the goal. It's really the turn here for Parker that does it. Immense pressure here from Illusion that I don't think Giants were expecting. You see a bump on the play as well. Tadpole forced someone out of net. Got the turn around off of Parker's turn. And boom, what do you know it? Illusion are back into this one. So much happening in such a small margin of time. But if Illusion continue to play like that, they can jump back into this game. Just got to slow Giants down and at least get a goal on the board before they get three. It seems to be the key in this series. Thomway again, keeping the ball alive. Still has a full tank of boost, but wasn't using any. Keeping all of that to himself. Itachi going to take it out. Looking for Thomway. Successful, but Rise cuts it off, and Rise can extend. Gets bumped off the play by Itachi, but no! what a touch from Tadpole. I think it got saved by Rise on the extension, but still, the ball kept up into the orange half. Yeah, Rise was trying to get out of net as the ball was going towards his car, and it's a poor touch. Goes out the way, but they're not done yet. They're still keeping up the pressure here, trying to see if they can tie this game up. Tap hole, looking for Parka, won't be able to get it there. And Rise will just have to take this and take his time, making sure Giants don't try to extend the lead. We'll touch off the corner. Parka all the way down. Thomway raised it, but Tadpole is here. He might be looking for Rise on the kick out. Extra touches there. Rise gets the call anyway, misses the hit. Parka's up. A little bit too high on the shot. Now you have to fly back and play perfect defense. Itachi and Stake working in tandem. There's the bump, but a high shot leaves it out. And we go back to midfield for Thamway. Oh, he can play a passive team. We've seen him do so. He's the only scorer so far for Vodafone Giants this game. Rise, though. We've seen him come up with some great plays. He sets up Tadpole, but it's off the woodwork. Parker will have to take this one into his own half. 
They've really been utilizing the ceiling more just individually to kick it out and trying to find teammates down the field, but a long clear, and this might be a defensive mistake, but Stake is off target. Parka to Rise, opposite end. Giants now starting to feel a little bit panicky as they're trying to clear this ball away, and the pressure continues Double? to mount for Illusion. Oh, Tapple did get the double. It's a good save. Away pass in, maybe. Parker, again, trying to get a good 50 to midfield. Rise at this point, buying team time so they can rotate and causing some panic over in the orange half, but they do end up passing it out. Tapple, this is going to be a big touch here. Does get it. Looking for the bump was Parker, but Itachi there picking up his third save of the game as it, the offense has shifted. It's been all illusion in the second half. Only thing, Daz, they just haven't been able to find a goal. It's looked great on offense. They just haven't converted. Natachi, who's able to sneak it under. Rise going up to meet the ball. Thamwe won't get the touch. Parker keeping it down. Has to beat Stake. Unable to do so. Once more, the Giants' defense will buy them some extra lives. And with a minute 17, you still need a goal if you're Illusion. And they have not been able to find it. No, they've been close. I mean, they've almost got 10 shots so far this game. But... Close just won't do it. They need to find the one that goes in. Final minute in game three. Vodafone Giants holding on to a one goal lead. We all know how fragile that is. Stake looking for Itachi. Gets the touch, but it's just wide of the top corner. It'll be knocked towards Rise. Is this a transition play? Tadpole can't get there. The cut from Zanway just too strong. And Parker will be needed. They need something here on this drive. Spaceman, they're running out of time. He only got 30 seconds, and again, it comes down to holding the ball and finding a teammate. Tadpole going to try to work off the backboard. We'll get it over Itachi, but Thamui's always been that third man up to take the ball out. He punches it to the defender, but now, again, we sit at a stalemate at midfield. No one's found a possession. Parker with a slow, not a great one. Again, a double commit from Giants. They'll take that all day as long as they get the ball out past midfield. Itachi open net. Tadpole diving save. 13 seconds to go. Parker going to circle in. 10. Rise underneath. Atachi on the opposite end. They just have to kill the clock. With five seconds, you need to go the length of the field. Will they be able to do it with that clear, Dazarin? I think game three goes to Giants. And yeah, we'll have to see whether or not Alusha can keep it up. This is a tough order. Nope. Atachi lets that fall. And Vodafone Giants put the series on match point. Man, you got to feel for Illusion. They worked so hard and diligently for like three minutes straight trying to find the back of the net. But that is just credit to Giants defense. That is the defense that slows down teams like top blokes, like BDS, like Vitality. They continue just to one at a time play man-to-man -man defense on ball into the corner. And they take it away. Even when they double commit, it never seems like they're out of position. And their defense steps up to keep them at a 2-1 lead. And after it was 2-1, Daz, it was all of illusion on offense trying to find the right counterattack that would work. But Giants would not let that door open. No, they, they wouldn't. I mean, defense from the Giants was well done. Illusion, as aggressive as they are, though, all it takes is really one person to wait that extra second because the pressure is making, I think you said it earlier in the game, it made Giants on defense scramble a bit. And yeah. when it comes to defensive scrambling, that's when they're at their weakest because mm -hmm. not everyone's on the same page. All you got to do is take, take a step back. That slight hesitation on the ball will make someone jump and it makes the net that much more easier to score on. But here we go. Game number four on your screen. And Lucian down in the series. Giants trying to close this one out, and they might just do it. It starts here with the first goal from Itachi. It keeps singing the same song today for Giants. Kickoff goals tend to win these games. Stake, who 1v3s his way through the back line and just kicks it out on a little dinky hit, and Itachi cleans it up. Every single time since game one, it looks like a kickoff win and a kickoff goal for Giants. And if you're Illusion, you're just kind of shaking your head saying, we have to stop this and you can't stop Steak. He just finds another one. Yes, this is exactly what you want to see from the Giants. Look at Steak. First touch, just under the bar. Great setup, great execution. Two goals in the first 12 seconds for Giants. Shout out first touch, Mondays, Rocket League Channel. I mean, isn't that game two or two games in a row, I should say, where Stake has found that second follow-up goal off the kickoff in like three seconds? It's Giants once more up to a 2-0 lead. Coliseum is a dangerous map. And we've seen many crazy things happen here. But 
You got to take this ball away. You got to keep Itachi off and stake off it. Thamui's been quiet. That one's down, and that's going to be a goal. That's going to be a 3-0 lead. Giants within 30 seconds have put Death's Door in front of Illusion. At this point, down by three. I'm a, you know, if you're an Illusion fan, you are freaking out. Yep. Someone, if you if you have a friend that is an Illusion fan, please call them. Make sure they're okay. This is not a good sign. That being said, still time left on the clock. They just got to get this under control. Starting to see the confidence again return for Giants. And these are the types of series that can absolutely be a trap series. And they can be stalemates. They can be slugfests in the trenches. And if you're Giants, this is a must win, not only just for your bracket hopes, but I think confidence for the players. Sometimes the best way to get out of slumps is to reestablish confidence through easy wins or through hard wins. This is going to be a hard win that if they're able to pull it off, I mean, talk about a huge momentum boost for this team. Yeah, a team that needs that run to happen this weekend yep. is in the Vodafone Giants. And although Illusion want to make a statement, Giants, they got a lot more to play for here. That one kind of ricochets around. The redirects worked out once for Illusion. Everything else has been pretty much by the wayside. The challenges were perfect in game one, Ooh. but you could say the same thing about Giants from games two to now. As Itachi goes up to Mita and Tadpole will get the 50 win and the extra touch on the ground. Nice little touch. Rise looking for Parka, but no one is there. Mm. Here comes Tadpole, double tap, back down and flits the f defenders. I can't speak, but Tadpole's able to find the first goal. Look at that. The flick across. Tapple knew exactly what he had to do. First of all, he gets the flip reset on that ball. Hits it off the back wall and then gets a follow-up. Tapple, the madman. That is a big time play for Illusion. Three minutes left in game four. And that's exactly what you need to see from Illusion coming into this. There's a chance here that they can start a run. Just need two more now. Had so much time to clear that ball into midfield. Tries to go for the sidewall pass, and Itachi takes it out. Decision making for Illusion has not really been up to speed with the level that Giants is playing at currently. That demo might help things though. To commit, Parka kicks it off the backboard, and Stake will deny the extension. Never mind. Rise comes in, followed up by Tadpole. Now numbers committing to the corner. But no one's got a touch on the ball. And Stake just reads it upfield, almost looking at 4-1 for Giants. And we kill another minute off the clock, Dazrin, where a lot of pressure is mounted in the orange half, but Illusion have found just nothing. Yeah, this is so important, too, because whoever loses this is out the group. That, that's just, that is mm. it. Whoever loses this series is going to be out of group A. Both teams are trying to battle to stay alive here, especially looking at, at, at what is going on over the course of Group A, Atlanti Wave is sitting with a negative two game differential. The Giants are at negative four, and Illusion are at negative one. And, oh wait, actually no, I think Illusion may still be in it because I think they won the head to head, but if they drop here and they don't go to game five, they'll lose due to game differential. They need this win. They absolutely need it. Worst case scenario for a lot of teams is going five games, even when a win is good enough. Just having that game differential can hurt you. But Tadpole needs to get it over Itachi. He'll do Parker. so. Parka is oh, there Parker. and an own goal. This game is still alive. What exactly happens here? Because it looks like there's three players on the ball. Parker jumps up with 12 boosts and hits it off the defense to get that ball to just roll in. Hey, they'll take it. It's a one goal difference. One minute 25. Giants are up 3-2. Coliseum is a weird map. It changes the way the game plays sometimes. Things happen here that just don't happen anywhere else. The extension down to stake. Itachi far back with Thamwe. Nobody pushing up yet for Giants. Now again, possession. Tadpole trying to meet the pass. It's Parker placed it to the corner. No boost though. He will bump off one. Rai's going to keep it up. But we go back down to the ground. Rise can't extend. And if you're Giants, you're just buying your time through the corner. But the pressure continues as Parka tried to find Rise on the opposite end. Itachi escapes. Oh, this is dangerous here, too. You can see a little bit of hesitation coming out on that offensive drive. They need one where there is none. As Parker tries to get a second touch, does, but it's straight to Itachi. That touch throws off Tadpole, who has to go for a bump. Zamway will keep it into the air. And you see the retreat, but only momentarily. 
There it is on your screen. 30 seconds remaining. As Illusion, they need mm. something now. Giants are starting to miss the ball. They're starting to miss the touches. They're trying to circle in off the corner and they're just whiffing. This is good. If you're Illusion, you have time. 17 seconds. A long clear won't help you. Giants trying to take the series 3-1. As Stake plays it to the corner. They might be able to do it, but we get the ball to midfield. Is anybody up for Illusion? No. That's when you need a long clear. Rise. Zero second shot. Will it come through? With that clear, the Thomway fighting for possession. We go back down to the ground. Parker going to keep it up to the corner. Itachi oh, going to no. try to let it touch. And there was a chance there for Illusion in the last minute and a half, but they just could not find anything. Yeah. So close, but not close enough. And Illusion do end up dropping that. And I think that means that they are out of groups and out of the season. It looks like, they, yeah, their season run will end here if, if I'm correct on that, which I think I am. But man, oh man, we knew that there was... A, it was a heavy group and that was a heavy game to get into and giants did show signs of struggle even when it came down to that last game but giants will still make their way into the knockout gauntlet we'll, mm. we'll, we'll keep we'll be keeping an eye on that team as things go on but what a series piece man yeah even though illusion 3-0 swept Atlantide wave Atlantide wave is still one and three and they have a one better game game differential they're seven and nine versus illusion six and nine if Illusion win that game four and lose the series, maybe it's a different situation, but one game of Rocket League is all that it takes sometimes. So Lantide Wave will sit in fourth. Giants yep. are in third. BDS is in second, just by game differential. They've lost eight games today, and Guild is in first place. They're 11 and five, which is a huge turnaround for Guild. So not, talk about a big weekend, not only for, for, for Giants, but for Guild as well. But Giants needed this win, just for morale boost. They desperately needed this win. Uh, and I think that this is probably one of the better series they could have had to to really close it out and probably get some momentum back. Yeah, I, I think you're right on that one too. Looking for Giants to try to get that momentum again. This this conversation for championships is so important. So seeing Giants step up when they need to is always something that you know you want to see. That being said, we've seen a decent amount of Rocket League today, but we're only halfway done. We have a big match coming up next, Space Man. Solary versus Dignitas. We're going to send it to a short break, and we'll be back with some more Rocket League.